This is the West Failure Jules Verne, a uh, van on the base of a Mercedes Jules Verne Elegance. This thing is going to cost 70,000 nearly euros. Uh, it is 514 centimeters long, 224 wide, 195 high, except when the uh, tent is up, then it's going to be a bit uh, wider, higher, higher, higher. I think the, the width actually is quite, I mean, it's like a, a motorhome sort of width. Anyway, but what is interesting about this is the arrangement. You've got a rather elegant looking uh, area around here. You've got a table you can put in there. You can sort of make this into a bed. You can have a sort of a, a lounging bit sort of down there as well. I mean, it's been messed around for the moment. And what you've also got at the back uh, is this, which is a, a sort of camper van type setup with a shower, which I'll now demonstrate. There you go, there's your shower tray. And so, where's your shower? You might be wondering, where's the water? Well, there's your sink, and there's the water up there. So you've got two lots of the, 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 uh, you've got the, the heads being taken off uh, for the benefit of this event. There's your toilet as well, and uh, we can close off. If you want to look at the toilet, what we can do, we can, uh, we can turn this thing here around, put this bench down. It also comes with a sort of comfortable bit for the bench, but the comfortable bit sort of disappeared. And I'll show you in here as well whilst I'm in here. And that gives you an idea of the more storage you've got in there. One big bad part though, I think, is this. You've got the, the 12 volts here. So if I turn that, press that down there, that's so how it turns the, it turns everything off. Uh, but I'm gonna turn it back on again, so I don't the lights to go off. Oh, they've gone off. All right, there you go. And you've got your heating web ass though, diesel. Uh, right, so you've got all that down there. Okay. So, um, so, so it's, I mean, it's not a huge amount of room, but you can't really expect. They, there you've got a, a sort of a wardrobe. But you know, if you treat this as a car, rather than a car, car with a bit of camping bit on it, um, not a French word, camp, compi car, which means motorhome, uh, but as, as a car, which you can use for camping or sleeping in, then then, you know, it could be, just the sort of thing that you want right so you've got the bed uh, which will go down here uh, is there at the moment alternatively let's see if i can get this down mm. uh, you see the what, what this looks like when this comes down i did that with one hand oh we can't arm um, at that Oh, whilst it's down, I'm going to leave it down for the moment so you can see how much room there is when the thing is down. Because this is obviously what it's going to be like when it's in motion. So, look on this as a car. And I think that that is, that's quite good. I sort of travel down a lot in my car. I uh, slept in it quite a lot. It was a business thing, sleeping in the car. Uh, Mercedes also. So then I sort of uh, went up to camper vans and I haven't looked back since. Let's have a look at some of the deep features. So this thing starts at 53,490, which to be quite honest isn't much more than the, the, the vehicle, the base vehicle costs. Fresh water 50, uh, grey water 36, takes a 2.75 gas um, gas canister. It's got 100, 100 ampere hour um, house battery, what's I call leisure battery in English. And uh, good, so that's, that's it. So you day position, night position. Right. Um, I'm going to show you one or two of the similar vans. This thing here is the high roof uh, Ford 
uh, nugget uh, and we have a sort of nugget brand or something like whatever it's called XXL or something or XL or something uh, over here which is a camper van this one here I think is a vehicle as is more interesting though although the problem with this is it whereas it does have the kitchen here and the bed up there it doesn't have any showering possibilities indoors uh, there's the outside shower but you, you know, you probably wouldn't be wanting to use that when the temperature's like zero degrees outside as it is now. Uh, another uh, interesting uh, vehicle is this thing here, the Club Joker. It's actually, they're all sort of a similar type price. The price doesn't mean a great deal because uh, you've got all these extras, some of them and others uh, don't. So you've got people here going in, so I'm gonna walk around it and show you there's another Club Joker the city down here also very similar layout this one's on a VW base and I'll take you in but you know it's very very similar sort of layout at the back probably prefer the Jules Verne myself for a similar cost now, whilst I'm here, I'll take you around the rest of this stand. Uh, Columbus um, um, camper vans here. This is a 600D Merc Mala, costing 70,000 uh, euros. Another one here with a tent in the roof. Tent and the roof knocks the price up. Usually, but this in case it doesn't, this is also around seventy thousand. <laughs> you know, see, you know, it depends on the equipment which is inside. Uh, now, if you want something it's pretty expensive, though, you've got this thing here, the James Cook, and um, this is very nice. Comes in three versions. You've got one with a the high roof. That's what I like the best. You've got one here, which is the classic one. And there's yet another one which uh, has a tent in the roof, but it's not here. But uh, they're looking 100, 120,000 for, uh, for the van. Nissan Michelangelo is really a people carrier with a uh, bit of camping stuff thrown in over there. So you've got your... your fridge your cooler you got your, your uh, sink and and your, your cooking rings and up here you've got a tent in the roof and the seats come out and in and all sorts there's the uh, guide rails to use with them Sven Heden here on an MAN basis uh, what's um, the unique feature on this one above all is these pop-out things here See, that comes out there, it allows you to sort of sleep in a um, width-wise direction, which is probably a useful feature given the fact that it's not particularly wide when you get in there. It's got all sorts of other sort of things as well, such as diesel heating, I think it's got floor heating, and uh, lots of other features which you may take as options. Take a walk around the rest of the, the stand here. Kepler 6. Thanks, Kepler 1. Sorry, 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 get my, get my vehicles missed up. Next up, missed up. Mixed up. There you go. So, there again, it's a bit of a, it's really sort of a car with a bit of camping stuff uh, tacked on. Including a, uh, a tent in the back. Uh, these slidey things incidentally are quite useful, like if they move back and forwards, so at least they do when they're sort of slid, uh, attached to it, which you know, allows you to get stuff out the back, particularly when the bed is down. Westphalia is perhaps best known, of course, for the Amundsen and uh, Columbus uh, camper vans, which we can see here. 
this one is from price from 42,190 six meter camper van I bet though by the time we get here we're looking a lot more money so that's 56,064 let's stick the thing through see what it looks like okay so this is a uh, so this is Stuttgart thanks very much for watching I hope you found that of interest and uh, so this is me at Vestfalia signing out.